Uh, okay. All right. All right. I'm getting beat up. I'm getting beat up. And that's what's wrong with the game. That right there. And then all of a sudden, you're on the ground. Like, you're just gone. There's only one fucking map to play. And it's just 80% of the map is a giant fucking hole. Why? Who designs a map like that where 80% is a giant hole in the ground? Catch? Oh, thank God. Oh! Oh my God! And I'm just getting fucked! Wow. And then you fall! And then you fucking fall! This game, this game fucking sucks big bro. Bad news, bad. Hey guys, before we jump into the video, I do want to remind you guys to scroll down to the description section and make sure you consider donating to my Patreon. It greatly, greatly helps my channel. Even if you only have $1 to give this month, it'll greatly help and then we can put bigger and better and more ambitious videos together. So please scroll down, links are in the description. What's going on fam? Your boy Jay Sama is here and today, 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 what am I even doing? So, I got a chance to play the Naruto to Boruto Shinobi Strike. I can't even say the name because it makes me want to vomit so bad. Like, it's not... <sighs> okay, so let's get started. Let's get started. It's not that the game is horribly awful, okay? That's not it. It's just broken. It's just broken, broken, broken. It's impossible to play this game. It's just not fun. It's not appealing at all. Like, it's just super difficult to play. Now, am I, am I upset about playing this game? No, not really. Am I bothered by playing this game? No, not really. But <sighs> I just, I would have thought the game would have been better. So, Essentially what the game kind of is it's almost like a Xenoverse ripoff really like it, it really is like with the character creation I could understand us not being able to change multiple hairstyles and being able to change our clothes I, Our eye colors the color of our clothes and stuff like that That is basic stuff that you would have expected to be in a character creation system in a beta Okay, I understand that this is a closed beta. I understand that this is a, a somewhat of an early build but usually with a lot of anime games, the build that you get for the beta, that's that's the full game. That's what the game is like. It was like that for uh, Naruto Storm. It was like that for Dragon Ball Xenoverse 1 and 2. It was like that for Attack on Titan. So just, just really when you think about it, like the track record speaks for itself when it comes to anime games. So I just, I just don't understand. That, that, that right there, that is a fucking problem. I threw my fucking chain kunai, it hit the thing, it lights up, and then you're supposed to jump to it, right? Really, my, some of my biggest issues with this game, number one, the camera. The camera angles are just atrocious when it comes to wall combat, wall, anything. Anything involving the walls is just fucking terrible. The kunai on the walls. 70% of the time it works 70% but sometimes when you really need it to work the shit just breaks you'll go you'll see it connect it'll make the little animation it'll do the the sound effect and everything and then next thing you know poom you just fall in a fucking hole another issue I had with the fucking beta is I would have to say let's play on more than one map please because 80% of the map that we were playing on was a giant fucking hole like, it was just this big-ass ravine. Like, why would you create something like this? There needs to be, like, I understand. I understand you wanted to go for something that looks different as far as a map, but this game was borderline unplayable because of this giant fucking hole in the ground. There's n almost absolutely no customization when it comes to, like, doing jutsus and stuff like that. And some of, some of the characters are just blatantly overpowered. Like, Sasuke's ability to use Kirin overpowered just can kill you and instantaneously whenever you accidentally get hit by that fucking jutsu man and it's just the wall bouncing was terrible the matchmaking was terrible the button system was terrible the actual controls were terrible trying to like just running up a wall and trying to go from the wall to the to the ground so going from here this spot here and then trying to jump on top 
horrible, you fall off, it's glitchy, it's buggy. There's a whole lot of things that they need to work on in this particular game for this to even be playable. Like, this is just, this is just awful. I don't understand, like, who played test this? That's what I want to know. That's what I'm very concerned about. Like, I understand that they have these closed environments where they can scientifically, like, they can like they have these perfect setup environments where they can test all of these ps4s and everything connected LAN cables and all that perfect network and you can play flawlessly no problem i'm sure that was the case but not in this case when you're playing with people internationally you're playing with people uh on a on a global scale not everybody's internet is great and yo the amount of teleporting and just how frustrating this game is, is just terrible. Now I know a lot of you guys are just like, J, 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 it's a beta, it's a beta, it's gonna get better. Once again, I revisit, there are several anime games that do not get better after the beta. They just don't. They don't. And, by saying that, it's just a beta, are betas not supposed to impress you anymore? Are betas not like, demos anymore? Like, are betas just supposed to be, ah, well, it's, it's a beta, it can be bad, it's, it, this is the excuse, it can be bad, it's fine, they'll fix it. What? Like, you're not supposed to wait until the beta comes out to try and fix the game, you fix it before the beta. The beta is the playtest. If you cannot impress people during the playtest, how do you expect to, them to even get on board with your game in the first place? Like, me as a consumer, if I play your game and the beta is good and you impress me in the beta, you're most likely gonna impress me in the full game. Or if you impress me in the beta and the beta was free, I didn't pay for the beta to get in it, I am now interested in your game. If your beta is good, like if I was on the edge about like, ah, I don't know if I'm gonna buy this game or not, and your beta impresses me, I'm buying your game. I'm gonna buy your game, absolutely. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. Now, after I buy it, am I disappointed? That's a different story, but I already bought your game. So, it's not, it's not fun. It's not fun. And there are definitely plenty and plenty and plenty of circumstances while I was playing this where I just didn't have fun. And I think this game probably would have had a nice turnaround if I could have played with my friends. Like, if we could have set up a friend matchmaking system where it was a private match, a private lobby or something, and it's eight people playing, I could see how the game would be fun. The game would definitely be fun with your friends, and you're screaming over the top, like throwing shuriken at each other and launching jutsus. That would be great. But this random type of situation that they had was just not cutting it. 12 minutes. It took me 12 and a half minutes to get into my first match in the game while I was live streaming. Not a good look, not a good setup. I knew there were tons of people playing this game, but it was just really hard to get into a match. I don't understand if there's so many people playing and I was watching other people stream the game and they were playing it, they were playing it perfectly fine. And then I would play, they'd be out of matches and I would go to four, five, six different streams and they're all waiting. All of these people were waiting. So I'm not sure what the deal is there. Hopefully they can fix that. But I'm uh, ultimately, final verdict, I'm not impressed with this game. And I'm a, I'm a Naruto fan. I love watching Naruto. Boruto, I'm not really too crazy about. But the Naruto series in general, I like. I enjoy. I watched it coming up as a kid. I watched it as an adult. And I bought manga and I bought video games and stuff like that to support this franchise. This is not something I'm willing to buy. Not at all. But let me know what you guys think. If you had a chance to play in the beta, let me know what you think down in the comments section below. I really, really, really want to know what you guys think. Even though I've already formulated my opinion after playing the game for some odd hours. So I just, I just want to know what you guys think. Are you guys kind of like riding this game? Like, no, it's going to get better. It's going to get better. Uh, I don't think it is. But, you know, that's just my opinion. I want to hear yours down in the comment section. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. If you dislike the video, make sure to tell me why in the comment section. Try to be as respectful as possible, please. 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 And uh, subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and you enjoyed any of the content. This has been your boy Jay Sama, and I will catch you guys tomorrow. Make sure to keep it canon.